everybody, my name is Daniel Diaz, an exercise specialist here at CHBD at Lansdown and at Oak Brook in Chesapeake. Um, I'm going to take you guys through a dumbbell workout. Um, for this workout, it doesn't matter if you have one or two dumbbells, if they're light or heavy, we're going to make adjustments um, based on what you guys have. So if you need to pause the video at your own pace, you can go ahead and do that when we go through our workout. So when we go through our workout, you might have to do one hand and then switch to the other. So if you have to do that, you can pause the video. If we have two dumbbells and they're light, we're going to go about more controlled, um, slower lowering, um, get really work on that time under tension so it makes it a little bit challenging. And if the dumbbell that you have is heavy, then, we'll, then you can change the reps as they make less volume um, and then make sure that you are working on form and uh, everything's safe around you and that your workouts are safe. Okay, um, so we are going to do a warm up, we're going to do a strength block, we're going to do a second strength block, and then we'll do core at the end. And then I challenge you at the end. Um, with your parents is to walk a dog, go outside, go for a nice jog, go for a nice walk, maybe about 20, 30 minutes um, in a safe environment. All right, so go ahead and get your dumbbells or dumbbell and find that safe place in your house. Um, you can go ahead and get started. All right, now that you guys are situated, we're gonna go through our warm up. For warm up today, we're gonna be doing jumping jacks, high knees, butt kicks. All these are gonna be for 20 seconds. Okay, then we're gonna go to what's called Spider-Man's. And then we're gonna do um, a calf stretch, okay? So go ahead and get situated, uh, and get ready to go, and we'll get this one started, okay? So first thing is jumping jacks. We're gonna start three, two, one, go for 20 seconds. Get that blood pumping, get nice and loose, get your mind right. Think about what we're gonna be doing today. It's just this exercise that we're doing for the next 30, 40 minutes. Get ready to rock. Two, one, we'll go high knees, straight to high knees. Knees to your chest, and let's try to go here to pocket on the side. If this is challenging, just go down the place. All right? Get that blood pump in five, four, three, two, one, and switch to butt kicks, go opposite side. Nice and loose. Get ready to go. Keep going, keep going. In five, four, three, two, one, and relax. All right, so now we're gonna do what's called Spider-Man. Basically the superhero, the little web guy. <laughs> we're gonna go push up position. We're gonna go our foot outside to our pinky. Get a nice stretch this way. We're really leaning this way. Get your stretch in our groin. Come back. We'll go five times both sides. So this is two, back, three, back, four, five. Go this way now. Six, let's so really try to get as high as you can. Eight, we'll get two more on both sides. Nine, last one. Ten. Good, this next calf stretch that we're gonna do, we're gonna be in push up position, and we're gonna worry about getting our weight towards our heel. We're gonna straighten our back leg, and then uh, straighten our back leg, and stretch out our calf. So push up position. We're gonna do our right calf first, left foot behind our right heel, and we're going to go back. So this one, you should feel the stretch in your calf. Go as far back as you can. As close to the ground as possible. Four, three, two, one, and then we're gonna switch. Switch. Now we're on our left calf. As far back as you can. Just push through, almost done. Five, four, three, two, one, and relax. All right, now that we're done with our warm up, we're going to get our dumbbells and we're going to get our strength block one started. All right, I'll see you guys soon. All right, now that we're all warmed up, we're going to go into our strength block one. For this circuit, we have our RDLs, we have a bench press on the floor, we have Superman's, and then we have our 90 90 boot stretch. Okay, 
So, like I said, with our dumbbells, if you have the luxury of choosing different sizes or different weight, then pick one where we can try to get 12 to 10 reps on, on, um, for your exercise, okay? If you only have one set or you only have one, um, you can change the volume, make sure, make sure it's kind of tough for you, and then we'll kind of go over the time under tension as far as making it hard if you have lighter weight, okay? So the first thing we're gonna do is RDLs. You grab your dumbbells, nice big chest. I want you to think about pulling your back, back straight back. Okay, I want if you have a logo on your on your shirt, push your logo through your shirt, chest through your shirt, back straight, slight bend in our knees. Once they're slightly bent, we lock them. All right, from here we don't move our knees anymore. We go straight back and then squeeze straight through. All right, same thing. I'm gonna show you the side, back straight, big chest, slight bend, and squeeze through. Notice my goal is to not try and touch my toes. The moment I say touch your toes, this happens. You want to arch your back, okay? The second thing is our bench press on the floor. All right, so we're gonna grab these dumbbells. We're gonna lay on our back, feet flat, straight up. Make sure your dumbbells are at a 45 degree angle. I don't want you going straight 90 if there's shoulder impediment. All right, 45. Go down as low as you can go and press straight up. All right, if you have light weight, we're going time under tension a little bit longer. Okay, so we're gonna go three seconds coming down, three to five seconds. One, two, three, four, five, and then push straight up. Okay, so that makes a little bit, makes it a little bit more challenging. Okay, this third thing is gonna be Superman's. Move these out the way. We're gonna be on our stomach. We're gonna go hands straight up, feet straight back, we're gonna go up and hold and relax. Up and hold and relax. We're gonna do 10 of those. And then the last one is a 99 foot stretch, okay? We are going to get our knee straight, straight in front of us. Our knee is 90 degrees, heel pointing straight back. And then my opposite leg is gonna be my other knee, my right knee is in line with my heel right here. And then my right heel is in line with my right knee, so this is all straight, okay? I want you to have a nice and tight posture, nice and good posture, big chest back straight. And then another key thing to here is to put your palm towards the front, okay? Nice, good tension up here. We're gonna slowly lean forward, hold this for two seconds. One, two, come back up. You should feel the stretch right right here, okay? We're gonna go five times both sides, okay? Really, really important, we stay nice and tight back here. If we stay loose here, we don't feel a stretch, all right? Nice and tight, as low as you can go. As you can see, I don't even touch my nose to my knee and I feel a good stretch. Come straight back. The goal is to not touch your knee to your chin. All right, so go ahead and get situated, grab water if you need to, and then we'll go ahead and get started. Welcome back, everybody. We are getting ready to do our first strength circuit. We're gonna go three rounds. All right, for our RDLs, we're gonna go 12 reps. Our bench, we're gonna do 10 reps, our chest press. Superman, we're gonna do 10. And then our stretch, we're gonna go five times both sides, okay? As always, make sure you do this at your own pace, okay? You guys are here to work on yourselves. Okay, so if you need to pause this video, that's fine. If you need to speed up this video, that's perfectly fine. Okay, so find your level and then work at your own pace. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is RDO. All right, right by your side. Remember to make sure your back is nice and straight, chest through your shirt, slight bend your knees. After that, you don't move your knees anymore. Okay, your hips go straight back. All right, let's go to 12. One, two, Three, four, five, six. I'm gonna turn around so you get six more. Seven, squeeze your glutes to the top. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Good. We're gonna put our dumbbells down. We're gonna get situated on the floor. If you need to get a mat or a pillowcase or whatever to get. More comfortable, that's perfectly fine. Luckily we have turf here, so it's soft. All right, we're gonna do 10 times. Three times going down, one, two, three, up. One, one, two, three, up. Nice and controlled. One, two, three, up. One, two, three, up. Four, one, two, three, up. Five, five, four, one, two, three, 
up six. One, two, three, seven. One, two, three, eight. Good job. Two more. One, two, three, nine. Last one. One, two, three, ten. Good job. Real quick on those, just make sure that your forearm is always vertical, okay? Your, your fist is above your elbow. We don't want you coming in and hitting your chest, okay? And the reason why I say keep your feet flat is so your low back stays on the ground, okay? So that makes it a little more safe. All right, we're gonna go Superman. Let's go 10 times. On our stomach, hands up. We're gonna go up and hold for two seconds. One to two seconds, ready? Up, one, two, relax. One, two, relax. Two, one, two, relax. Three, one, two, four. One, two, five, five more, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good. This next one, our 90 90 stretch, this is our active rest type of thing. Okay, so we're resting, we're staying active, we're stretching. Hold them nice and tight. Relax, that's one, two, Three, two more. Four, last one. Five. And what you can do is keep your heels on the ground. We're just gonna flip over and face the other side. Since I'm facing you guys, I'm just gonna switch my head to over. All right, so same exact thing. Make sure everything's aligned. Twist your, twist your palm towards the top. We're gonna stretch. All right. Two, good, three more. Three, four, last one, five. All right, that's end of round one. We're going straight to round two. RDLs again, we're going six face, even six the other way. One, really push that with hips back. Two, let's squeeze your coming back. Three, four, five, Six, over. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Good. Back to our bench. Hope you guys started breaking sweat. I am breaking sweat right now. We're all working. All right. Back to our bench. Test press with me. One. Two, three, four, count in your head, three seconds down, five, six, down four more, seven, eight, four on the vertical, nine, fish right above the elbow, ten, uh, straight to our supermans. We are up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job. Back to our stretch. 90 90. Make sure everything's flat. We're going to lean forward. One, two, this is where my sweat starts to accumulate. Three, four, great job. And five, good switch. One, if you need to take more time with the stretch, take more time with the stretch. Three, for example, if you went on a run yesterday and you're a little tight, take a little bit more on that stretch. Four, one more, nice and tight. Five, good, last round. These RDLs, you should be feeling them in your hamstring and your glutes. All right, nice tight core, chest to your shirt. One, two, three, four, five, Six, six more. 
seven, eight, nine, three more. Ten, really go, come back to you. Eleven, twelve, good. Down to our chest press. Flat back straight on the ground. Three seconds down. One, two, three, up. One, two, three, up. One, two, three, up. One, two, three, up. Six more. One, two, three, up. Five more. One, two, three, six. One, two, three, seven. One, two, three. Eight. One, two, three, nine. Last one, repeat. One, two, three, ten. Good. Last set of Superman's. All right, ready. Up. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. Five more. One, two. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Back to our stretch. Last thing for the circuit. This part should be the part that feels good. One, two. Good. Stay nice and tight. Three, four, five. We're gonna switch. One, two, three, big chest, four, really stretch out the glutes, and five, good job. All right, everybody, great job. Way to get those three rounds done. Grab some water. Like myself, I'm gonna wipe off my sweat, and I'm also gonna wipe off my surrounding because I know I'm doing sweat, you guys probably doing sweat too. So great job. We'll go to our circuit number two. Grab some water, I'll see you guys soon. All right, welcome back guys. We're going into our second strength circuit. So the first thing we're gonna do are gonna be dumbbell bent over rows. And then we're gonna do step ups. And then we're gonna do a dumbbell pass through. Okay, so for the rows, we're gonna do 12 times. Step ups, we're gonna do 10 times each side. And then the pass through, we're gonna go five times both sides. So 10 total for that. Okay, so I'm gonna go over what we're gonna do, what it's gonna look like. All right, so the first thing is bent over rows. So kind of like what we did with the RDLs, okay? We're going to stick our butt back and chest forward. Nice, tight back and big chest. Okay, so I'm gonna show you this way. Butt back, try to get your shoulders over your toes. Pull straight back, squeeze your upper back. All right, this is with two. If you only have one, it's the same type of movement, but you're gonna use this other hand to kind of help guide that, that uh, the balance. We're gonna go straight up. All right, so same type of movement as far as the RDLs, back straight, hips go back, and we're pulling with our back and think about pulling your elbow back. All right, the second thing is step ups. This one, if you have a box, you can use this box. If you have stairs, you can use stairs. If you do not have either, the safest thing that we can progress to or change to would be reverse lunges. All right, so if you don't have any of those, we're gonna do lunges if you don't have them. Straight back. All right, in this case, for the people who do have boxes, we're gonna step up, come back down. If that's easy, you can come up and drive that knee straight up, come back straight down. Okay, so there's a lot of level that you can do. Kind of switch it up to make it your own pace, okay? The last thing is gonna be our dumbbell pass-throughs. We're gonna be in push-up position, we're gonna work on our core. We're gonna keep our feet wide to make sure that we don't move our hips. And we are going to pass the dumbbell through under our hands. Okay, so right from left and vice versa. Okay, so we're gonna push up position. We're gonna go here, switch. Here, switch. Five times those sides for that. All right, so go ahead and get situated. Find where you need to find if you have stairs, if you have a box. Whatever you need to do, get your equipment ready. And let's get ready to rock. All right, everyone, let's get ready to start our second strength block. We're gonna start off with our dumbbell rows. All right, like I said, if you have two, go ahead and do two hands. If you have one, just do one hand. And then you'll do both sides, okay? So here, 
One, two, three, big chest, four, five, six, elbow straight back, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Good. We're gonna go straight to step up, 10 times both sides. One, two, you can keep that foot on like I'm doing. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one more, ten, and we're gonna switch. One, two, three, four, five, push through your heel in here, six, so you really work your quad, seven, eight, big chest, nine, ten, good. Keep one on the box, we go one here, we're doing our pass moves. Five times both sides. All right, push up position. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Second round, we're doing our rows. We go this way this time. Butt goes back to the chest. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And I'm gonna move this box in the middle so you can get there. Eight more. So I'm gonna go from the side. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, two more, nine, ten. I'm gonna walk on the other side. Whew. One, two, three, four, five, five more, great job, six. Seven, eight, nine, last one, and ten. Get ready for our pass throughs. Five times both sides right here. All right, ready. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Woo! Great job, everybody. I am drenched. I hope you guys are drenched as well. Go ahead, wipe off your sweat. Grab a towel. Again, wipe off your surrounding. And then we'll get ready for our core target. See you guys soon. All right, this is going to be our last circuit. This is going to be mixed with core and also upper body. Okay, so we're going to be doing bicep curls. We're going to be doing reverse slides. And then we're going to do a quadruped shoulder taps. Okay, so I'm going to go over real quick. The first one is your basic bicep curl. You can either do what's called hammer curls and keep them in neutral position. You can go palms up or you can kind of do a rotation. Okay, so whatever one you guys prefer, it's up to you. Reverse slide, same sort of thing we did with our um, bench over rows and our RDLs. Back straight, big chest, hips go straight back. Neutral position, we're thinking about spreading the wings. Keep your shoulders back, nice and controlled. Okay, the last one is our shoulder taps and quadruped position. This means we're in a push up position. Hands under our shoulders, but this time our knees are under our hips. So we're in all fours, our toes are, are tucked underneath us. So this is what it looks like from here. Other side, we're going over here. Back is nice and straight, push against the ground. We're gonna go up, and then we're gonna go opposite and switch. Try not to rock your hips like what I'm doing right there. All right, we're gonna do two rounds of those. We're gonna do 10 times both sides on that. So we're gonna do 10s on curls, 
10 toe flies, and then 10 both sides of the shoulder jack. All right, go ahead and get situated, get ready to go. This is our last thing. All right, let's go. All right, now that you guys are ready to roll, let's grab our dumbbells and go straight to the toe, to the bicep curls. I'll do hammer curls for this one. We're gonna go here. One, two, three, big chest. Four, think about locking your elbows. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Loosen up a little bit. We're gonna go our reverse fly. So hips go straight back. Big chest. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Great job. We're gonna go straight to our shoulder tabs. Finish off round one. All right. Ready and up. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Great job, we got one more round. Straight to the bicep curls. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Just up a little bit. Straight to our first slide. Let's go straight back. Big chest. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Last thing, go on taps. Feel the burn. Last thing. 10 times both sides, and we're done. Off the side. Big chest, push the ground away. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Great job, guys. That's two rounds. We are done with that. For this last part, I know I said we were done now. Doesn't have to be right now, maybe later in the day. Go ahead and go for a 20, 30 minute walk outside with your parents. Um, follow all CDC guidelines for all that. Um, walk your dog, go outside, get some fresh air. Maybe do what we did for our warm up. Do that again outside. Just to kind of get a refresher. All right. So you start feeling good. All right. Great job, stay tuned for more future videos. Look at our old videos, be ready for our new videos, and uh, just be ready to keep rocking and rolling. Great job, guys.